Hello everyone. For this unit in science, I will be talking about properties. Now you might not know what properties are, but that's okay. We will start at the beginning. In this lesson, lesson number one, I will be talking about making observations. So what does it mean to observe? Well, we'll find out. Hopefully by the end of this video, you will be able to explain how we use our senses to make observations. I am going to be reading this book titled, We Make Observations by Karen Jones. Scientists learn about things by asking questions, observing, investigating, and experimenting. Our observations help us to answer questions and learn new things. What does it mean to observe? When we observe, we use our five senses. We look, listen, feel, smell, and sometimes taste. Using our senses helps us learn. We observe when we look closely and carefully at something. We may notice an object's size, weight, shape, color, texture, or temperature. When we observe, we listen to sounds. We use our hands to feel and notice an object's texture or weight. Sometimes we observe smells or tastes. Using our senses helps us learn new things. Sometimes we use scientific tools to help us observe and learn more. A thermometer can help us learn the temperature of something. A magnifying glass or microscope can help us see an object up close. A ruler can help us learn an object's size. A scale can tell us how much something weighs. It's important for scientists to write down what they observe. Drawing pictures of what something looks like or writing down what you notice is important when you're a scientist. It's also important to talk about what you observe with other scientists. Talking helps us to learn new things from other people. Perhaps they observed or noticed something different. Talking will help you learn from one another. When we use our senses purposefully and think about what we see, hear, feel, smell, or taste, we are making observations. Making observations helps us to answer questions and learn. Now, what does it mean to observe? Well, let's review. When you observe, you use your five senses. You look carefully. You touch and feel. You notice things. You use tools. You talk about it. You write it down. And you watch. Now that I've talked about making observations, I'm going to put those words to the test. Right here, I have a paintbrush. I'm going to look at this paintbrush and observe, make some observations about it. The first thing that we are going to look at is the shape of this object. I notice that there are some familiar shapes. There are some, there's a circle here. This is a triangle. Um, this is almost a rectangle, but it seems to be going on an angle there. I notice there's some nice curves here and it goes straight and the bristles are actually set at a little bit of an angle. The next characteristic I would like to look at is the color. Now here there are multiple colors. I noticed that this blue right here is pretty much the same color all the way through. The bristles, however, they do change. Um, there are some white spots here. Closer to the end of the brush, you see some leftover paint that never really got washed away and it dried. Um, this is a nice shiny gold metal type color. The next thing to look at is the texture of this brush. Now I see three main types of materials. I see this part here, this part here, and this part there. This right here is actually kind of like a rubber. It's a little bit squishy and it's able to be bent back and forth. So that should give you an idea of what the material is. You might have thought it was a hard plastic, but it's not. This part right here is a smooth metal. There are some bumps here and some letters and writing you can feel. And then when you get to the bristles, they do feel pretty rough. They're rougher than maybe your hair, um, especially the parts that seem to be dry with paint still stuck on them. They're a little bit stiff. The next word is size. We're going to look at the size of the object that we are observing. So you could take a ruler and measure from all the different areas from corner to corner, from tip to tip, or maybe even how deep or wide it is. Or you could compare it to your hand, put your hand next to it. Here's an object that you are all familiar with. I would say that this marker is about the same size as this paintbrush. This word is weight. What is the weight of the object we are observing? Well, you could take this and put it on a scale and get the exact number. You could compare this weight of this paintbrush with another object. Which do you think is heavier? The paintbrush or the marker? Hmm, I can tell, I can feel the paintbrush is heavier, but you could use a balance to know that answer more easily. This word is smell. What does your object smell like? Well, 
Hold on, let's find out. <laughs> hmm, well, the only part I might have been able to smell was the bristles right here, this part of the brush. It kind of smelled a little bit like dust. It's probably because it's been old and sitting in a closet for a couple of years. This last word is taste, the last of the five senses I wanted to talk about. And I hope you don't think that I'm going to taste this paintbrush. That would be gross. Only taste the things that you are allowed to taste and that are safe. Now I encourage you to do this at home with some things maybe you might find in your kitchen. That way you'll be able to, to use this sense of taste when you are observing an object. Once you have spent some time looking at all of those attributes and characteristics of the object you are observing, I think it's also a really good thing to draw what it looks like. So I grabbed some paper, my object, and some things to color with. I chose colored pencils because they're easier to draw lighter. If you choose markers, you're pretty much stuck with just the rainbow colors. All right, let's just do it. Now I don't have an eraser, and color pencil doesn't really erase very well, so I'm just gonna do very lightly some drawings here. Goes a curve and around. You know what? This is probably going to take a super long time, so let's fast forward through it. Ta-da! Not too bad if I do say so myself. So just like I did, I would encourage you to take an object you find in your home and really look at it, observe, use all of your senses, unless you can't use sense of taste, and really understand the object and don't forget to draw it. And don't worry, we will be observing more things as time goes on. So thank you for learning with me and hopefully after today, you can explain how we use our five senses to describe things. Take care.